Sunday after Pentecost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. So, I do not know how, where we are located in the season after Pentecost, but I am guessing we're about halfway. And so we are given a burst of energy from the Holy Ghost through Holy Mother of the Church, in our liturgy. And so we are again reminded, what is it that's happening to us this, during this season? We are supposed to be putting into effect everything we learned in the first half of the year, living Christ's life over again. And now, in this part of the year, we are supposed to, as the color green is supposed to be reminding us constantly, that we have great hope, hope of salvation, if we just put into effect the things that God has told us. And now Holy Mother Church is reminding us again. And with this particular vestment, being that it is green, but we note, of course, what is that first Sunday after Pentecost? Trinity Sunday. So we begin the whole season with the Trinity, and that's what this vestment is. And what is the reason why we have hope? Now, just to let you know, what Holy Mother Church is pounding in at this Mass, and again, it's like a broken record to remind everybody, we all have to do spiritual reading to get to heaven. And after the scriptures, the most important thing for you to read every day is the Missal, to see what the Mass, what Holy Mother of the Church is teaching you in the Mass of each day. So for today, Sunday's Mass, on Sundays, fortunately, we have, we come to Sunday Mass, and hopefully the priest is going to tell you at least some, because the thoughts, as the first Friday, the Mass of the first Friday begins, the thoughts of his heart are infinite. So the priest is going to tell you some things, the things that God has given him to say, but you can, through the Holy Ghost, in your prayer, pick up different things. The thoughts of his heart are infinite. What is it today? If you've missed it, it's repeated for us, the, the gospel, and then it's repeated in the communion. Seek first the kingdom of God and all things will be given to you. That is perfectly in tune with the whole season of hope. Do not... Did you see the gradual in Alleluia? It, it's called the Hebraic couplet. The Hebrews in there, in the Psalms, David, like to just repeat in different words what was being said. So it says... It is good for us to trust in you, God, not in anyone else. Else, We should hope in the king, not in any princes. You see, it's just repeating in different words. It's right there. It's right there. Do not trust in anything else except God. The whole season is telling us this mass is pounding it in. Seek first the kingdom of God and his justice. Justice means holiness. And as the liturgy, the way we pray is the way we believe. And so the opening words of the Mass, our protector, that's God. We have no other protector except God. Our protector, behold, behold us in need and look upon that is, God, look upon the face of your Christ. 
another way, right from the Psalms, of describing, defining what the liturgy is. What is the official prayer of the church? It is the prayer of Christ. Because when Christ prays, the Father looks upon the face of his Son. That's what's happening at Mass. Christ is the center of all history, of the whole universe. Everything changed. God did not change, but his creation changed dramatically when he entered into it at the Annunciation. Everything changed for the angels, for men, for the good and the bad angels. Everything changed. Everything pivots around Christ, as the introit's telling us, as we do at the Mass, at every Mass. That is why we believe in the year of our Lord, not in the common era. There's nothing common about it. God became man that is never to be forgotten. So, details of the theme. The only thing you, gotta, you, gotta remember, you have to remember is, am I putting God first always? Seek first the kingdom of God. And the little test for you to know that is, what is the thing that bothers me all day long? What is the thing that I worry about all day long? What is the thing I'm always seeking all day long? Is it one of the list of things in the epistle that St. Paul told us? If you follow these things, you will not be part of the kingdom of God. Are those the things we think of? Getting my next drink? You heard him talk about it. But that's your little tip. Whatever you think about the most during the day, that is, that should be God. That's what you're seeking first. If you're not thinking of God every second of the day, or if your wandering thoughts don't go right to God, you're in trouble. If your thoughts go to the next drink, the next list of all the things, and your guardian angel says to you, Why are you thinking of that? That's God telling you, don't seek that. Seek me. And in the gospel, our Lord tells us, don't don't go after riches. But then, what is he pounding through? So, okay, we know that. Don't put our trust in riches. And And he does, our Lord does this great, beautiful comparisons. He, the creator of everything, who knows it all from the inside out, describes in perfect Symmetry. Do you think the little flowers in the field, do you think the little birds, that your whole Heavenly Father is taking care of them, you don't think he's going to take care of you? And then he says, repeats three times, as I count it, just saying it at the, at the gospel. Well, I said it right again here. Do not be anxious. Now, Unlike the little birds, he provides for us by giving us a mind and a will, a rational soul. So he has already given us the power to accomplish what he does for the birds. He just wants us not to use that power for anything else but for him first. And all things will come besides. So yes, we have to be providential. That's another theme of the season of Pentecost, God is taking care of us. So we have to do what our jobs are. That's what God has given them to us to do. But the point is, do not be anxious. So as we see challenges and problems and everything else, why do we have them? No, it's because of original sin. And why does God let us recognize them and be aware of them he says, he, he doesn't say, he does not say these worries are taken away. He just says, do not be anxious. Because as soon as you recognize it, you use the faculties I've given you to address the problem. 
And then pray. Seek the kingdom. That's what we do. We turn to self all the time. Don't do that. He allows us to feel our weakness, so we turn to Him. As soon as we turn to self, we're, we're achieving inadequacy. So at this Mass, and you, we can do it for the rest of the Mass, at the Holy Communion, we can look upon the face of His Christ and know we are protected. No need to be anxious. Keeping our eyes focused always on heaven. May God bless you. Thank you.